আছে মিস বেরিল আইজল সাউথ থ্রির জেড পি এমর বিজয়ী কেন্ডিডেট আর হয়তো মিজোরাম নির্বাচনের প্রথমগী এইবার নির্বাচনের প্রথমগী বিজয়তা প্রার্থী মহিলা প্রার্থী জেড পি এমর ফার্স্ট অফ অল কংগ্রেচুলেশন ইউ ইউ ওয়ের আ মিডিয়া পার্সন বিফোর If I hand over the mic to you yes. and I would request you to announce your own victory, how do you do so in English? <laughs> well, can I, can I do that? Yes. All right. So to all the people who this are watching out there, this is uh, News, 18. News 18. So I would like to say hello. And um, today I'm so overwhelmed and kind of speechless, but never actually being speechless in the media. And um, I was a radio jockey in 93.5 Red FM. Then later on, I moved to All India Radio and then I moved to Digital Media. And then from there, I moved on to the corporation, Aizol Municipal Corporation, and um, today I became one of the elected, female elected uh, legislature in Mizoram again. So I would like to introduce myself. My name is Beryl, and um, today I am so happy to say that I have secured more than 9,000 votes, which is so unexpected in that particular constituency, and I hope the people are, uh, you know, like joining me in this happy moment that I am having, and, um, and also I would like to give shout out to News 18 and thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you so much. First of all, which has been more exciting and more, more enchanting for you all through your life, life journey from right from uh, RJ yes. to a successful politician? Well, definitely today is the best feeling ever because the battle, the competition is very, very tough. And to win this with a kind of a difference, more than 1,000, yeah, that, okay. So uh, more than 1,000 thousand votes. This is like one of the happiest moments of my life ever. This victory is primarily because you being a barrel or you being <laughs> a member of ZPM. No, I have no role to play in that. Me being barrel doesn't have anything to do with the votes. Uh, maybe people know my name but the actual credit goes to God and to the worker out there, the party people, and to all the people who have casted their votes for me, and, and also to all the female who support for me. So this victory is also dedicated to the female oh, in the society. It's, it's more of female votes for you, or the um, young youth, uh, the boys, the male boys? I, I can't just, uh, you know, I, I can't classified? just, yeah, I can't just gender classify that. It's, it's all in the, like, uh, male or female, it's like, you know, it's worth the same, so. Were you we expecting this kind of victory for ZPM, like this kind uh, of figures? Or? No, no, absolutely not, no. So why actually, what worked in ZPM's favor, why uh, this, uh, this kind of a figure? Well, I believe that since having our statehood uh, from 1986 and, and actually started uh, contesting in 1987 and, and it's been 35 to 36 years and we have seen the reality. We have seen what changes needs to be done, what development needs to be here, what the other states are having and what do we do not have yet. What, so we have seen and I believe that all the people have made their mind before the election was actually happened before the election was uh, conducted. So everybody have already made their mind by seeing the current situation of, of the state. And uh, I believe that they wanted to bring massive change here. So you, 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 you are a successful corporator. Being a corporator, you inducted certain changes, certain reforms, and actually worked for your ward and the yes. society. Yes. Now, is there a possibility or do we see Ms. Merrill in the benches as a minister? Well, I hope so. Fingers crossed, though, because uh, the, my bosses have mentioned about it. And this is the particular reason why they have given seats to the, to the female. I don't think they would stop at the uh, MLA. They would open their hearts to go up for the cabinet or to minister of state. So let's First three things Amaril, as a minister, uh, would like to do for the state and its people. Well, um, there, there are so many things need to be done. And, and moreover, my vision and my policy is based on what the people actually need, what is needed to be done. So this is a, what we're having today, what we're carrying is a need-based policy. And uh, talked about education. There are so many things that I have to do, so many changes that I need to bring in the constituency and overall in the state. So I can't just, you know, classify it and give it to you in a particular. I'm so sorry about that. Still, still <laughs> would, would vouch for the education department? I'm sorry, come again. Would vouch for the education department? Uh, probably that and maybe the social welfare as well. I don't know, but I got passion for that as well. So let's see. Let's see what Thank happens. Thank you so much and yeah. congratulations Thank once you. again. Thank you very much.